Roland Gregg is an ambassador for sustainable living and um, freedom. Yeah, isn't it amazing how a man can find himself alone? We incubate technologies and prepare them for commercialization in the market. Calling to the darkness for an answer that he's never known. I am an ambassador for clean technologies. Yeah, isn't it amazing how God can take a broken man? Yeah, let him find a fortune, let him ruin it with his own two hands. And he climbs on up the hill, on a rock on which he stands. He looks back at the crowd, he looks down at his hands and he says, I am a difference maker. Oh, I am a difference maker. Oh, I The technology sector that we focus on is clean technologies in the energy, food, water, healing, shelter, and waste solutions. So those are the areas that we spend money and time developing, researching, replicating, and preparing technologies for market for people to actually use. Yeah, isn't it amazing how a man can find himself alone? Fall into the darkness for an answer that he's never known. Well, when you break your back or compress your vertebrae, like you have vertebrae and mine was compressed to like a triangle. It's like compressed. So the bone that normally would be there to protect the nerves from everything else are basically they get inflamed and so I have a form of arthritis in those two spots that it just hurts and sometimes if I don't move for a while it hurts more so um, I try to make sure I exercise enough to keep things moving um, but at the end of the day after sitting in a chair and doing a lot of office work it hurts and so um, going for a walk and having some cannabis literally it takes all the pain away so I can think and I can relax and that is a lifestyle that if you if you have pain and you um, and you experience it on a daily basis, it can be very debilitating to your thoughts. It can make you grumpy. It can ruin relationships. It can destroy your whole life. Just having pain and people don't think you know pain's that big a deal unless oh you must need you need cancer or glaucoma to use cannabis. No, it helps with basic pain better than anything else. And it was such a benign herb, and when you re start researching it, holy crap, like, you start researching, you start seeing that it was in the United States Pharmacopoeia from 1830 to 1840, 1941, and, and you start reading in the United States Pharmacopoeia how, like, they used it. And it was used in, like, 50% of all prescribed drugs for that, like, 100 years. Um, so you start looking at it, it's amazing when, um, when you look at the actual possibilities of what you can do with not only cannabis but hemp in general and so that's what fascinated me about it to um, choose to use that as a therapeutic in my life. With cannabis, the stigma is still there as a stoner who is just sits at home in his mom's basement and does nothing. You know, that's the stigma as well. But I think that's changing, seeing people who are successful that use cannabis to relieve themselves. The first charge was conspiracy to, uh, to, man to um, manufacture and distribute plants. Second charge was the manufacturing charge. The third charge was the distribution charge, the fourth was the guns, the fifth was the maintaining a drug involved premise. So we got acquitted on all of those charges, but on the second charge, which was manufacturing over 100, they found the jury decided to, because they included a little multiple choice thing underneath the charge, they included something they could charge us with a lesser included crime of growing 50 to 99 plants. So it's not a mandatory minimum, but we've been convicted of a drug felony manufacturing marijuana and it's a zero to 20 sentence, so zero to 20 years. So the judge could put us in jail for 20 years if he wanted. 
we didn't break any laws. So if there's a message that can be taken away, it's, it's to stand up for what's right. To, if you know something is wrong, do something about it, you know? Basic, don't look the other way. Watching your family go through this. Um, it's been like uh, really hard, I guess. Watching my family go through it. I mean, I can go through anything that's fine, but watching my wife and my mom, my stepdad, and my friend, you know, go through this has been the hard part. And it's it's you know that's why I've fought so hard to keep them out of jail and out of harm's way. But yeah, it's been really hard. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> This is the battery? Yes, this is a crystal battery. It's, um, there's many ways to make what may fall into the crystal battery niche, but this, is, this way was invented by Marcus Reed, and we've helped him evolve it to this state. And it's, um, it's pretty amazing. It just basically it puts out energy. Yeah, isn't it amazing how a man can find himself alone? Calling to the darkness for an answer that he's never known Yeah, isn't it amazing how God can take a broken man Yeah, let him find a fortune, let him ruin it with his own two hands And he climbs on up the hill on the rock on which he stands he looks back at the crowd, he looks down at his hands and he says, I am a difference maker.